Day one of self-isolation. Already cut my own hair. <laughs> no, but actually I did. I did just give it a little trim today. I don't think it looks too bad, but um, wow. Hello guys. So I know I haven't posted in a while, even kind of before all of this got super serious. Um, but I just wanted to come on and chat with you guys. I'm gonna get ready and do my little uh, like 10 minute makeup routine and just kind of catch you guys up and check in, see how you're all doing. Um, I hope everyone is well and staying inside as much as possible and staying safe. Um, I'm gonna put a little Charlotte Tilbury on. You know, it's, it's weird times, <laughs> weird times. I feel like I saw a post the other day, other day that was like, it's weird having this sort of duality of, oh, uh, what did they say? It's sort of everything just feels a little bit off. However, there's still this like sort of sense of normalcy that's happening and it's just a weird duality that I think a lot of us are dealing with right now. So basically for me, so right now, um, my quarter just ended. Um, we did the last couple weeks remotely um, and then I have one more quarter. They've um, said that we're gonna do spring quarter all online, which honestly works well for me, but I really feel for a lot of students that rely on the equipment at the school and classes that you really can't teach remotely, like art classes and stuff like that. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I also have an internship, which I need to see is still happening, but it's I think it's something I can do remotely as well. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I am actually still working right now. So um, so I, I worked reception at a tax firm for a couple years as their like full-time receptionist and now, and then I left, um, but I come back and help during tax season do admin stuff. Um, so we've still been open and Last week, um, both of the other two admin people were out sick um, and hopefully not with the coronavirus, but and obviously we were being super careful and told them not to come in um, until they didn't have a fever for like at least if like several days. Um, so one of them is back now, so that's why I'm actually home today, which is good. Um, they did extend the filing deadline. If you didn't know, the tax filing deadline is now July 15th. You have until then to file and pay. Um, so we are slowing down and working reduced hours, but we are still open during the week so people can come um, get their tax returns and get their refunds and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, my husband works construction and They've still been open to, I don't know. So we're in Washington and it's looking like they may shut down um, all non-essential businesses, um, but we're not sure yet. They have already closed down um, all bars and restaurants in my states. They're still able to do takeout, um, but no dine-in services. So yeah, we're just trying to be, you know, super careful, washing our hands a lot, trying to stay home you know, when we're not working is, and um, yeah, just trying to isolate as much as possible. So yeah, I mean, I would honestly be fine with staying home for two weeks. Um, that sounds like an introverted dream, but I know a lot of people are really struggling with the, the quarantine. And of course, a lot of people are getting sick and losing their lives. So there's a lot more to worry about. So, I mean, I am, really lucky to still have some income right now. Um, a lot of people are losing their jobs and filing for unemployment. Um, I know they did just announce the stimulus package. Um, I don't know if it's been passed yet as of right now, but yeah, so I really, I feel for everyone in those situations. Um, so in that way, I'm lucky to still have income, but at the same time, I haven't been able to isolate myself as much as I would like. Um, but yeah, all of my weddings for April, um, have been canceled or postponed 
and I, I think the ones for May will too, I'm not sure, as well as all our house sits. So all of our like supplemental income is gone, but at least we still, we still have some income, which a lot of people don't right now. But yeah, crazy times. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. Feel free to reach out if you want to chat about anything or let me know how you're doing. Um, I got Animal Crossing yesterday. I have never played Animal Crossing. Um, my husband, loves it. Um, he's been playing nonstop. He had a couple days off work that he had planned to go on a trip and obviously that got canceled. Um, so, but he took the day off anyway to play Animal Crossing. He's been playing it nonstop, but it's really fun guys. It's really fun. Comment down below if you have it and what your island name is. Mine is Sarasas, which is Latin for cherry because that was the first fruit I got on my island. I know, so original, but um, yeah, it's that's been a fun time. I forgot to mention that I did already do my brows. They look good. not great today, but you know what? Who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some Fenty bronzer. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, as far as content goes, so I do have a couple videos that I had pre-filmed and I'm debating whether I wanna upload them. One of the pre-filmed videos will definitely be up tomorrow. It's actually a sponsored video, which is wild. <laughs> um, but the other one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post or not, just because I feel like the, the feeling in the world <laughs> is so different um, than when I filmed that video. So it was a, um, it was testing the powder under foundation thing on dry skin. So let me know if you guys still want to see that video or not. But um, I will be filming some more content now that school is done for a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'll probably be focusing on more technique based stuff because I don't really except for the one for tomorrow, but I don't really wanna necessarily encourage people to be going out and shopping and stuff like that, but I guess there's always online. I do wanna take a minute to say thank you if you are a grocery store worker or a postal worker or a healthcare worker. You guys are just holding up society right now, so it's crazy. Be sure to thank your local workers um, that are, and sanitation workers too, that are just like the ones carrying society right now while the rest of us are, are working from home or staying home. This just, I think it, it just kind of has to become our, our new normal. It's just what we have to do right now. And hopefully that means that it'll get better. And I'm just like, I'm trying to be aware and not panic at the same time. If, if that makes sense, I think that that's where you know, we all kind of need to be right now is to be taking this seriously and, and taking all the extra measures, but at the same time, not panic buying and thinking that it's the end of the world. It just, it is what it is at, at this time. So yeah. And you know, I'm perfectly happy to never leave my apartment, frankly. So, <laughs> um, we had planned on moving to at the end of April, which I, I think, I'm not sure if we're still doing or not, we'll see. But anyways, there's still, there will be some more content for you guys coming soon. I have, I you know, I am still gonna upload kind of normal beauty related stuff because I think people really do need a, just a distraction right now and there's, I don't think any reason not to. I'm gonna put a little blush on my nose. This is the Ilia Multi-Stick by the way and Ladybird. I'm almost out of this. I've been using it non-stop since I got it in like, I think August. Um, it's so pretty. It's also finally sunny here in Washington. We're getting some like warmer weather, which of course we can't really enjoy. <laughs> um, but it's nice to look at outside and I have like decent lighting again because I relied so much on natural light in the summer to like get the white balance right. And then, for the past like several months, it's been so gloomy and gray and I haven't had any good light. I know, first world problems. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to have uh, nice lighting again. 
On a day to day, I've really been liking the CoverGirl, uh, what is this, Clump Crusher. It's so nice, it doesn't smudge, it's just a nice natural looking mascara. It, it's not like gonna make your lashes look super volumized or anything, but it does give some length and it holds a curl well, so it just looks nice. It's a nice day-to-day -day mascara. Side note, everybody. Okay, I've been using the Urban Decay Vice. Uh, they're like the lip stains. I really like this. This is in the shade Physique. Um, now, the downside is you really, like, you cannot tell what these are gonna look like when you swatch them. They look absolutely different, but I love it. They're supposed to like mesh with the natural like pH of your lips. I don't know. But they're no, they don't like, they do sort of dry down and like stain the lips, but they're not drying. And you can put like a gloss over them and stuff, obviously. But I just love the way it gives a nice like natural flush to my lips, sort of like if I like, ooh, let's fix my hair. Gosh, I'm growing my bangs out. And it's a struggle, let me tell you. I don't know who let me do that. Oh god, that looks terrible. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. Anyways, yeah, so this lip product, I like how it just gives like a very natural flush to the lips. It sort of looks like my lips are like, almost like sunburnt or that I just have like naturally like pigmented lips and it lasts pretty well too, so yeah been really liking it. So that is all for today, guys. I just wanted to do kind of a little check-in and get ready. And um, I hope you are all doing okay and staying inside as much as possible. And um, we're gonna get through this. We, we will. Anyway, so I'll see you again soon with another video. Like I said, some of them will be pre-filmed. Um, I know one will be up tomorrow. I, again, let me know if you guys want to see that other video of the, the powder under foundation because I'm just not sure if I'm going to post it or not, but um, I will if a lot of you want to see it. That is all, guys. Stay well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.